come back, please. You keep asking more and more of me. And I feel like I sit in a chair that's too big and I'm not gonna feel it. I'm ready. Dunque, il massimo che possiamo fare è un peeling chimico che elimina le cellule morte e favorisce il ringiovanimento. Poi, se proprio insiste, un filler al labbro superiore giusto per riempire un po'. Ah, io non vedo l'ora di incontrarla. Mia cognata mi ha raccontato di un miracolo che avrebbe compiuto nella città di Roma. Ma è impossibile che sia vero! Gianluca, ma è tutto vero! Cosa possiamo fare per convincerti che ce l'hai fatta? Henry? Oh. 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 Come fa a sapere il mio nome? Che domande! Lei è la referente! Lei sa tutto! Ah. Che cos'è? Lo stafilococco aureus. Eh, 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 eh. La domanda di oggi è come si risparmia sulla polizza auto? Guido solo in cortile. Puoi guardare gli stessi film dal 1990 oppure scegliere tra mille film on demand a 19,90. Basta una virgola a cambiarti la vita. No, anche lui al mattino non parla con nessuno. Di solito mi ripiglio le 10, allora? Ah, ti ripiglio. Meno male. Allora tutte le mattine adesso? <ride> It doesn't leak? Nope. It's the reflow revolution. Good. That's how we let go. By imagining doing horrible things to people. No, by honestly expressing her inner frustrations. But expressing myself was what got me into this situation in the first place. <sighs> it felt so wrong, it felt so right. Don't mean I'm in love tonight. Bedside manner. Yes, your bedside manner. Bedside manner. Mm -hmm. Can we go back to imagining doing horrible things to people? I was really enjoying that part. You know what? Maybe you should consider seeing a psychiatrist. Yeah, but I don't have to pay you. What are you doing over there? Well... <laughs> you follow her? Well, I, I followed him no. to her house. Is that a cool guy's act? How James Bond would I? No, I know, I just, she, she destroyed me one day. I knew she could and she did. I mean, I've become, become the kind of man that I mock. You're a romantic. No, that's bullshit, you know, and I'm a cynic. <laughs> Cynics are the most romantic. She is trying you. Seriously. Really? Cynics don't believe in little stuff because Deep, deep down, they believe in, in the big stuff, like true love, the perfect soulmate. Think about it. If you didn't think that true love was possible, would you dismiss all of this relationship so casually? 
you put these cheeks to the curb because you know they don't measure up with your romantic ideal, which you secretly hope to find. You know, you're starting to talk like me. You know that, right? You have quite an effect on me. Why do you wait to that? You're rejecting me because of Because of can I glasses who wants nothing to do with you? Is that about right? Come on, Ricky. I've had a shitty night already, Dad. What are you doing here? Well, I, I just I thought we could talk. I, I just wanted to ask your opinion. You're such an idiot, Tiger. You tell me all about this bullshit about she destroying you. You want to see somebody from this drug? Look right over here, smart guy. Wendy, I'm, I'm sorry. No, don't say that you are sorry. Don't. Don't. You tell me all about this girl who's perfect for you. I'm perfect for you, fucking idiot. I'm perfect. Do you know that? You can see that, right? I'm just the girl that you fuck. Wait, you're one of my best friends, Wendy. Because it hurts too much. 